We will now move on to location controls. The location of features can be controlled with three callouts, position, concentricity, and symmetry. Position is one of the most common callouts and is a simple concept. The position control gives the mathematical measurement from a datum to a nominal position and then defines a tolerance zone around that nominal position. The shape of the tolerance zone depends on what is being controlled. Position controls can be used for the location of an axis or for the location of non-diametric features of size, such as slots, tabs, and bosses. Position can be used to define the nominal location of an axis for features such as holes or pins. In each of these cases, the position location defines a cylindrical tolerance zone within which the axis of the hole must fall. The tolerance zone is centered on the true position defined by the location. We're going to look at a close-up of these two pins in just a moment. You will see two green cylindrical tolerance zones, each of which will be placed by the basic dimensions. Our position callouts say that when we hold this part by datum feature A, or the back of the part, and then B, the side of the part, and then C, the bottom edge, the two pins need to be positioned in a way that their actual axis falls inside a 0.5 millimeter wide tolerance zone that is located 12 millimeters from the top edge and 14 and 40 millimeters from the left edge. Here's the close-up of those two pins. The part has been made translucent and the tolerance zones shown in green. If the part were made perfectly, the axis of each pin would fall perfectly down the center of the tolerance zones. You will see here that the shape of the tolerance zone automatically gives some control over the orientation of the feature, as well as some limitation to the form of the feature. A pin could not be too bent without the axis leaving the tolerance zone, and could not be at too much of an angle without leaving the tolerance zone. This automatic control of location, orientation, and form through a single control is one reason position is one of the most common symbols used. Position control can also define a tolerance zone around the center plane for a feature of size in relation to datum features. Our demo for this section has a raised fin or tab and a slot, which are both features of size, that are non-diametric. As you'll see, tabs and slots are positioned by their derived median plane. Here's our drawing for the part. The center plane of this tab is given the basic dimension of 32.26 millimeters from the edge. This callout tells us the width of the tab is 10 millimeters plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeters, and that the tolerance for the position of the tab's derived median plane is 0.2 millimeters, which would be centered on our basic dimension. The callout also tells the manufacturer and inspector that for this measurement, the part should be held or stabilized first by datum A, the back or bottom of the part, and then by B, and then by C. This callout would create a tolerance zone of two parallel planes that are 0.2 millimeters apart and which are centered on a point 32.26 millimeters from datum feature B. Every point of the tab's derived median plane would then need to fit inside these two TZ planes. This tolerance zone might look similar to the TZ for flatness, which was also two parallel planes. The position callout is different from flatness in that this TZ is created in relation to a datum. Position and all location callouts cannot be given without datum references. This part could pass a flatness inspection even if the tab was at the wrong orientation or location. But because the position references a datum, the tolerance zones do not move and these parts would not pass a position callout inspection. Similar to calling out the position of an axis, you'll see that because the TZ is based on a datum, it automatically controls form and orientation as well. The tab of this part must be relatively flat or unbent, relatively perpendicular to datum feature A, and relatively parallel to datum feature B in order to meet this position callout. As a second example, and to show datum selection methods, let's look at the slot of this part. 
you can see the nominal location of the center plane of the slot and the width of the slot, as well as the position tolerance of the slot. Many other basic dimensions are missing from this example, but you can see here the second datum feature referenced is datum D, which is the center plane of the tab we just looked at. An inspection process for this callout would involve stabilizing the part by A, the back, and then by the tab, perhaps with two gauge plates that held both sides of the tab, and then by C, the upper edge. This combination of callouts suggests that what really matters for this part is the distance of the tab from these edges and the position of the slot not from the edges but from the tab. Position may be the most common callout, but the last two location controls are perhaps the least common, and most companies recommend against using them. You'll soon see why.